नमस्ते सुनील जी नमस्ते एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन वेलकम वे आर ऑन एक्सरसाइज टू स्टेप फाइव but probably all familiar with the steps but even so a brief recap and maybe we can take questions observations on the steps done so far so step 1 we saw that i am there because i can see my activities i can also see the body is there and i know that the body is there only because i can read the sensations through the body in step 2 we try to see that whenever i interact with the body there is some exchange of information it is only information that is being transferred from one to the other so if i give some instruction to the body that is is information there are many sensations in the body due to activities within the body and if i read some sensation that is also information nothing physical is being exchanged in step 3 we try to see that in this exchange who is the person deciding is the body deciding or is the self the consciousness deciding and i think we could see that i am the one who takes the decisions regarding what sensation to read what instruction to give so i am the one who is deciding so in that sense i am the doer i am the one who is doing it because i am the one who is deciding and giving the instruction the body is just following i am also the seer the observer the one who sees images may be forming in the body in the eyes the sense organs but i am the one who makes sense of it who sees and i am the experiencer or the enjoyer so when i taste the sensations i am the one who decides that i like this or i dislike this i am the one who enjoys or experiences the sensation the body is just my tool that i am using for my purpose in step 4 we try to see the reading of the sensation in a little more depth so that we could try to see the distance between the self and the body so whenever there is a sensation i can ask myself this question when i read the sensation am i the sensation am i in the sensation or am i at a distance from the sensation and we could find out that i can read the sensation that is there in any part of the body just by the decision to read so i can observe this sensation from a distance so there is a distance between me and the sensation between the consciousness and the sensation and the sensation is in the body so there is a distance between the consciousness and the material body in step 5 we were trying to see this whole process of reading the sensation and its impact on me this is a very important step because this is the one 
that unfolds the whole process within me. So sensations may be within the body, may be outside. Meaning, sensations are through the body, but it may be, the source of that may be some um, event outside the body or it may be some event inside the body. If you look at the events outside, there are two possible sources. One is when I interact with other human beings. Another is just some change in the environment which is impacting. So, if you look at this, uh, and of course, the third thing, which is within the body, as the source of the sensation, it could be some event happening within the body, not related to the outside. So, if you look at this in some detail, and you find that in the body, if we can have that diagram again, it will be easy for everybody to see it. Yes. So in the body, there is some effect of the event outside. So if we take the behavior of another human being, the other human being gestures something waves, what is the effect on the body? The image is formed on the eyes. The eye is a sense organ, this image that is formed, this much is happening in the body. Now this sensation I can read. So I choose to read it. I take that decision to read. There may be a big crowd of people. But if one person in that crowd is important to me and the rest are not, I'm able to locate that person in the crowd. My eyes are searching for, or you can say I am searching for, <laughs> through the eyes this person in the crowd and it is almost as if everybody else fades away and I focus in on the, I almost zoom in on that person that I'm looking for. So the image in the eye is being formed of everybody there and the sky, and the ground, and the trees, and everything, the roads, all of that. But I pay attention, I decisively read and taste the sensation that I think is important. And I give meaning to that sensation along with my sanskar. Sanskar meaning everything that I have gathered so far in terms of my thoughts, my feelings, as a sum total of that. You can think of it as a summary of your imaginations, the conclusions that you have made from that over time. So based on that, I give meaning to that sensation. Now this sensation that I am giving meaning to, which I am seeing is dependent on my sanskar. This sanskar may be in line with understanding, may not be in line with understanding. So unless I see it, I evaluate it, I am not able to know whether the meaning I am giving it is the right meaning or not. So if my sanskar is based on knowing or understanding, then I am able to understand things 
the way they are. And the meaning I associate is the right meaning. And because I understand my feeling is ensured within me, I'm not influenced by this sensation or this event outside. I have already chosen my feeling, the right feeling. So I'm not influenced by that. And I just see the event as it is and respond to it. And then if I choose to express this outside, I instruct the body and the body follows. But if my sanskar is based on some assumption, something that I have accepted to be true but may not be true, then it is possible that I will get influenced by that sensation. And since my feeling is not ensured from before, I may choose to decide my feeling based on that event outside. And when I do that, the feeling could be right, it could be wrong, depending on the situation outside. So I may react. And all this is happening within. And only if I choose to express it outside, I instruct my body. Same thing is happening when there is some physiochemical change outside, some change in the environment. Something that is material, it's having some impact on the body. Impact on the body as in some sensations are there. I choose to read the sensation that I think is important and I give meaning to that. And again, this whole cycle is there of doing it in conjunction with my sanskar. So if we see, next slide, for this whole process, we can see all the steps that are happening within the cell. There are many more steps in the cell. In the body, it is almost like a vehicle, like a tool for this sensation to be there that I can read and to pass on the instructions so that the expression can be there outside. So even when there are events within the body, there are many sensations because of this. So much is happening in the body, but we don't become aware of every sensation. I choose to read or taste the sensation based on whatever I think is important. Yesterday, some question came up about intense sensations. So in fact, if we see sensation being there is a good thing. My reading the sensation is also a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. But what meaning I give to it, that is very significant. So, there is a pain in the head. And I have the understanding about the self, about the body, about harmony or disharmony in the body. I may be able to see that there is some disharmony in the body, so I can respond to the situation. I don't have to get influenced by it. My feeling does not have to be influenced by this pain. But if I don't see this, if I assume, say for instance, that I am the body, even though I may have the information that I am not this body, yet the sanskar is so strong that whenever I am not aware, I am able to see this, that 
I might assume I am the body. And so, whenever there is some sensation in the body that I read, I may assume that this is happening within me. So, I get influenced and I may decide my feeling based on this sensation and I may react. So, all of this we can see And in fact, even when there are intense sensations, we'll take some example. Supposing I have intense pain, think of it like this, you have intense pain in your knee. You are able to read this sensation of pain in the knee, it is very severe. At that same time, now, there is a phone call about your child. Some mishap has happened or some disturbance for which you are concerned. Now when you are paying attention to that, you may not be aware of this pain sensation even though it was very intense. Can you see this? You can answer in the chat. Possible? You can answer yes or no in the chat. If you are not able to see it, you can say no. If you think that this happens and it is possible, you can say no. I am getting a lot of yeses. So, I think we can see this. Yes. I can give you one more example. We think that children cannot bear pain of injections. Why to speak only of children? Even adults, many a time, may have a change in feeling when they have to go through an injection. But I had the experience of working with a lot of children. So I would tell them that, you know, I would give the injections as a pediatrician, you need to give many vaccinations to children. So I would tell them that I will not give it without your knowledge. I will tell you and then give it so that they should have faith in me that I'm not doing something, saying something and doing something else. And I would tell them that you pay attention to what I say and you will not feel the pain of the injection. So I would talk to them. I would ask them to follow my instruction very closely. I would ask them to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And while they were doing that, I would inject the vaccine. And you may find it hard to believe, but four-year-olds, five-year-olds, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds, they were able to take the vaccine without feeling any pain. And very often the response I got was, oh, it's over. I didn't know it's over because you are paying attention to something else, you are choosing to pay attention to something else. So you are not influenced by this other sensation. You may not even be aware of that sensation. But we can keep it open for ourselves and we can try to explore this and see. Next slide, please. So now you can see or we may be able to see that to read or not to read a sensation, that is my choice, my decision. And it depends on what sensation I think is important. And what I think important, that depends on my sanskar. The meaning that I give to this sensation, that also depends on my sanskar. 
based on this meaning that i give to the sensation i am either influenced or not influenced by it that also depends on my sanskar whether it is based on understanding or, or it is based on assumptions without understanding and then i decide my feeling according so you can see how important the sanskar is that all of this that is happening within me the meaning that i am giving the, the fact that i read a particular sensation or i don't read it the meaning that i give and then based on the meaning whether i am influenced or not all of this depends on the sanskar so you can see the need to observe the sanskar in fact we will see that when we are observing from the level of pure observer that sanskars those sanskars can become visible on their own i don't have to try to go after them and try to find them you will notice them because whenever you are referring to your natural acceptance anything that is out of line of the natural acceptance becomes visible almost instant in instantaneously and so you can see what is right and whatever is not slowly starts fading away you don't have to make too much effort for that having said that there are some sanskars which are very deep rooted so it may seem like even though i know even though i have experienced it still it keeps happening almost automatically automatically because my sanskar is so strong so my feeling immediately gets influenced by my sanskar based on whatever i have accepted so even for those very deep rooted sanskars if i can keep referring to the natural acceptance if i can keep trying to observe from the pure observer point of view then i will notice whatever it is that is not in line and all i have to do is see what is right what is naturally acceptable and focus on that and all of this other stuff will drop off so essentially that is what we need to do so we've been doing this point 1 point 2 in this assignment let us look at point 3 we have been talking about it let us try to do this with some more intensity today and then perhaps tomorrow we can start with the next step so observe any sensation in the body it can be any sensation if you have some pain anywhere in the body you can pay attention to that if there is no pain anywhere you can pay attention to some other sensation like the heart beating or throbbing of the circulation observe that you are choosing to read and taste the sensation also observe what kind of meaning you are attaching to that sensation so i may read that sensation and i may get disturbed with that sensation or i may be very comfortable with that sensation that is because of the meaning i am giving to the sensation is the meaning based on understanding or on an assumption without understanding are you getting influenced or not influenced by this sensation what is the feeling you are choosing to have are you happy or unhappy are you responding or reacting you may not be expressing anything outside but inside you will be able to see so if we can do this for a few minutes this point 3 i'll mute myself we'll do this and then come back to the observations we'll do this uh, for today and tomorrow we'll try to start with step 
but all these three uh, sources of sensation if we can pay attention to this and see how you know these all these steps within are taking place it may help us to understand this better and uh, we'll take your observations about this tomorrow now we'll switch